For people in the developing world, education is a pathway to success and greater education to quality education is also one of the Millennium Development Challenge goals. VOA's Clara Frank has that story. Millennium Development Goal 2A pledges to ensure that, by 2015, children everywhere, boys and girls alike, will be able to complete a full course of primary schooling. However, experts at a recent panel at the Brookings Institution in Washington say that goal has so far fallen short. Jenny Perlman Robinson is with the Center for Universal Education. There are still millions of children and young people who remain out of school. For those who have been able to go to school, millions are leaving without the basic knowledge, skills, and competencies such as reading, writing, and math critical thinking skills that they need to lead healthy, safe, and productive lives. The panel discussion marks the release of an extensive 55-page report which calls for a new global compact on learning. We need to come together as a community and ensure that we're working in a coordinated collective fashion, that our messages aren't confusing at best or competing at worst, and that we're all pulling and then moving in the same direction. Robinson is the lead author on the report, but three other education experts joined her in the discussion, including the executive director of the Forum of African Women Educationalists, or FAWE, Ole Diba Wada. We want to ensure that there's gender equality and equity um, for particularly for between boys and girls um, in, in education in, in Africa. Educating a, a girl is like educating a whole community. Fawe works in three different countries in sub-Saharan Africa, a politically and economically diverse group. But its goal is the same for all, to promote gender equality in education. Wada says education should be a non-negotiable issue. It's sad that we, we have reached a point in Africa where donors are shifting their priorities from education and looking at other areas of, of economic development. And um, I feel personally, as an African woman, that um, education is a non-negotiable. Um, we cannot, it's not about politics, it's not about um, a competition, it's not about, it's, it's a life and death issue, it's, it's a human rights issue. If we want to have economic growth in Africa, if we want to really develop Africa, we cannot remove education, we cannot deprioritize it. It has to be top on the priority to address issues of health, issues of agriculture, issue of water and sanitation. You cannot talk about any of those issues without putting education on the top agenda. In calling for a new global compact on learning, the report says all children deserve a quality education and calls on nations and international organizations to come together to achieve its goals. The report says today's well-educated children and youth are the best hope for a peaceful and prosperous future. For producer Heather Hatzenbuehler, this is Clara Frank, VOA News.